Hi, this is the Essence of Life and this reading is for all Geminis in the universe. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Messages may or may not resonate as this is a general reading. If it does, then please click the like, leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you to all my lovely subscribers. I really love and appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for the love and support. You guys keep this channel growing, which keeps me going. And I'm so, so gra grateful. Many blessings to you all. Thank you. So we're going to do a quick free card spread into the energy surrounding love for Gemini's. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So we've got death, the Death card in reverse surrounding your energy, Gemini. We've got the Seven of Swords surrounding the energy of your person. And we've got the Knight of Pentacles surrounding the energy of the connection. So do remember that energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So please take it how it resonates. There is no gender in tarot. So we've got the death card in reverse, surrounding your energy, Gemini. So it looks like something is not over with that death card in reverse. Clarify the death card. Why the death card in reverse? Oh. We've got the beautiful Empress. Lovely. And we've also got Justice. Oh. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, yes, it's not over. Something's not over here. Something's about to begin. There's a passionate new beginning that is just waiting to begin here, basically. And yeah wow three major arcanas right here wow so yeah justice is being served here in this connection what's going on gemini that's lovely with the empress energy that is beautiful why have we got the seven of swords clarify the seven of swords thank you holy spirit We've got the lovers in reverse. Okay, because with that deception card, it looks like um, you and this person is not really on the same page. Someone's withdrew from this connection. It's causing deception. Clarify the lovers. Why are the lovers in reverse? Thank you, Holy Spirit. We've got the Three of Swords. Okay, so there was heartbreak in this situation. There's heartbreak here. Someone is going through pain and sorrow in this connection. And it looks like they probably want forgiveness. With the Three of Swords in reverse, someone wants, to, wants forgiveness. It looks like, yeah. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so your person is hurting, Gemini, or this is your energy. But someone in this connection is going through a lot of pain and sorrow. Like I said, we've got the Three of Swords and now we've got the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, there's a lot of hurt. And suffering in this connection for somebody here yes let's clarify this ten of swords thank you Holy spirit so we got the two of wands in reverse 
Yeah, so it's really not working out for this person, someone in this connection here. There seems to be some kind of delays in their plans or, you know, moving forward. There's a lot of pain here. This person's just, someone's really, um, <sighs> in a lot of despair and anguish. And they want to move forward. Someone wants to move forward here in this connection. But there just, um, there just seems to be some kind of uh, blockage. I think they're just, I think maybe it's just deception energy. Someone's trying to be deceptive here and really they're just hurting themselves. We got the strength card. Yeah, so someone really needs to take that courage, build up the courage and the strength here to to make to make this move towards you. Yes. Someone's building up that strength and that courage, that confidence. Yes, because we've got a passionate new beginning that wants to take place here. Someone does not want this connection to be over. Yeah, because it looks like someone withdrew from this connection. So maybe you withdrew, Gemini, from this connection. Because we've got the lover's cards, which, which is Gemini energy. And someone withdrew, so it's in reverse. It's caused a lot of pain and heartbreak. Yeah, and somebody doesn't want this to be over. They're resisting this ending. Someone wants to resist this ending. Yes, we've got the Hierophant here. Yes, so somebody, yes, this, this connection is spiritually guided. Definitely, possibly a twin flame connection. Definitely soulmates with the lover's card and the hierophant. Yeah, you guys are definitely spiritually connected. And we've got the three of cups. So yeah, this person wants to reconcile. They really do. I mean, that could be the deception here. That, you know, this person really wants to be with you with the Hierophant card here and the Three of Cups but because they're not saying nothing it's coming you know they're, they're being quite deceptive by keeping this to themselves you know but at the same time they're hurting themselves as well by keeping it to themselves so it really doesn't make sense you know, oh, this could have been a third party situation as well. Three of Cups, Three of Swords. Mm, maybe that's what the deception is as well. And then someone withdrew from the connection. Yeah, this with the Hierophant. Could have been a free, third party situation here. But yeah, someone definitely withdrew. That's all I know. This is what I'm picking up. And someone's hurt. So in this connection, someone's hurt. Because... Someone withdrew and someone's hurt. I'm trying to find the strength to come forward to make this move towards you. Yes, and we have the King of Wands here that flew out. So you could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone with fire in their chart, or this could be you with fire in their, your chart. Gemini, but yeah, this person, this person wants to take the lead here. This person wants to take the lead. If I find the strength and the courage to take the lead and make this move towards you, towards this commitment with you, because they see you as the Empress. You've got the beautiful Empress here. So, you know, they see you as the one, you know, who could compare to the Empress? 
It's justice now. Yeah, they want to bring justice to this connection. You're getting justice, Gemini. It looks like. Yeah, this connection is not over. It's a passionate new beginning that wants to take place. This King of Wands, yeah. Wants to use his wand. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> So they're holding back for now. They're kind of being deceptive about it by holding back. That's, but uh, that's probably because you withdrew. So they don't know how you feel. But at the same time, they're only hurting themselves by being deceptive. I mean, this is what I can see here. Someone really hurt here. Or maybe this is you, Gemini. Maybe you're hurt because of this deceptive energy. Free third party situation. Mm, but yeah, someone's really hurt here. Someone definitely wants a new beginning. There's a new beginning. Passionate new beginning that wants to take place possible commitment as well with a higher thing because you guys are spiritually connected definitely and they don't want this to be over they really don't so I think they are going to take action but they just need to build up the strength first and the courage this person is probably really nervous this is what I'm getting. They're probably nervous. Because it means so much to them. So, I mean, if you don't want the same thing as them. Yeah, it would, prob it would probably destroy this person. I mean, because you're the Empress. There's no one can compare to the Empress. I mean, there is nobody that can compare i mean if you don't want them then they don't want anybody else it's like what are they gonna do this is why they're so nervous because it means so much to them so um yeah they're just being deceptive right now it looks like by hiding this by holding back and not expressing how they really feel but it's not gonna last forever because ten of swords yeah this has to come to an end ten is endings so we'll we shall see how this goes gemini but i wish you all the best with that i'll leave it here for now until the next time lots of love and light and thank you for watching